is a smart looking gun, isn't it? I picked it up in Tokyo in, ooh, 1986, my first trip to Japan. Very nice gun. Got a nice mechanism too, which I'm liking. Perhaps I should fire it? Well, you'd better back away just in case it's dangerous. Well, it's a toy one, so it won't be too dangerous, but I'll aim it and then... <coughs> wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? So the front of it, if it hits a small child, is very soft, because that's a little one of those, and it just hits you on the chin and it's very soft. And then the others all fit inside each other. Well, this was something that intrigued me, because it's actually a telescopic effect. And I thought, hello, I've got several other telescopic effects I need to look at. And then I thought further, hang on, what about looking at toys which grow longer or bigger, but only in one dimension? So let's have a look at the whole range. The first ones will be telescopic toys, with about two or three samples of it. And then the others will be other mechanisms for making things grow longer. Here's the second of the telescopic ones. This is a very nice smart pen. But it's telescopic. It's it is a ballpoint pen that I'll show by taking the top off. There we are, there's a biro point. But it's telescopic, look at this. Oh my goodness me. It feels beautiful. It's really well made from steel. This is one more section. That is some ballpoint pen, isn't it? So either you can write distantly like this, or you can hold it in your hand and feel it wiggling away behind you like that. It's whatever. So it's a bit of fun. But it does look so smart, it'd be a very nice thing to, for magicians to hold in their, in their breast pocket, because it looks so nice. Put the thing back on again. Then about uh, a little time later, I think, I found two more telescopic things which are just pure fun, because they're cutlery. <coughs> There's a telescopic spoon, would you believe, and a telescopic fork. They don't go that far, but it's a bit of fun like this. I fancy the idea of being at a party and having a chat with your neighbour opposite you on the other side of the table and say, can I try a bit of your... and then do that. Well, either with or without their permission, just a bit of fun. And the same thing with the spoon. Ooh, that's come apart. So these are a bit of funs for people to play with, to play jokes with, because they're both telescopic that you wouldn't actually use in any circumstances. You're just using for a bit of fun. And the last one is actually a very sensible thing, which I have used very occasionally, because there's a magnet on the end. That's a little round magnet. And it's, we are, hold it up, it's this. Picks up that, that, it's picking it up. And it's telescopic. That means if you've got something dropped down between two, ooh, two wedgy bits of furniture you can't easily shift, you just have to reach down with this and pick it up and say, there we are, and you've managed to catch it on the bottom. The body, it's, of course, a magnetizable bit of metal, like a little, little a baby clip or a knife or something like that. So that's a very you know, useful one. That could be useful, it's a bit of fun, and these are just pure, well, jokes. And of course, an excellent little toy. All telescopic, all growing longer in one dimension. What else? What other methods are there doing this? Well, there's a one here which I've had for many, many years, which is the ones that unfurl. This is a very short piece of plastic but it unfurls like that into a long piece of plastic, all in the one direction, one dimensional. And of course it's a blowout, so I'm not going to do it with the fingers, I'm going to do it by <coughs> one of those. But if you like a longer one, well I always like long things, so this one here <coughs> is more like 10 foot long. <coughs> oh wow, it comes back in a good old mess. That certainly grows longer. And then there's several toys in my collection which are also unfurling, but they're little cute little animals. This one here is a little snake. And that tongue there, if you look carefully at it, is a little bit of um, balloon almost, rubber, and it, when it inflates, it comes uncurled. So this is a body here which contains air. When I squeeze it, it's just like animals do this. I've got frogs which do the same thing with tongues that come out and I see frogs in ponds reaching out to catch insects flying above the water and you go with a long, long tongue and do that. So unfurling, uncurling, one-dimensional growing things is a nice one. I like that. There's another way of making things longer, not quite the same. It's um, I used to call these paper yo-yos at one time. I haven't got a satisfactory name for it, but never mind. And it's a toy which is, I've got three different versions of it here. It grows longer by having a coil of slightly elasticated paper which is curled up into a thing, wants to stay like that. When it's pulled out like that, it tolerates it, but it wants to go back again, because you've turned it back and it goes back in again. But it'll do an action like a yo-yo almost, which is why they called these at one time paper yo-yos. And I've got three different versions of it. That one which I picked up in Tokyo was uh, a baseball bat. 
This one is an ice cream. I've had ones that pop up, but this one doesn't pop up. They said you have to pop it up like that to make it work. It's got a, one of these paper yo-yo things. But that gets longer in that one dimension just by unfurling it. And the last one, of course, is one of the joke oh, fists for punching you in the face. Well, one of those things. Oh. Very nicely done. So that's another method for making things longer and growing. Then there's probably the most traditional of the lot, which I'm aware of, which is the spring, which opens up when, when it's released. There's two springs in here. It's the old nuts with a spring that jump out. Open it up, and the springs are going to pop out in a hurry. Woo! Woo! And make a squeak, too. So you've got a short spring when it's compressed like that, and when it's released, because it's got energy, it gets longer and longer and longer, all in the one direction. I'll put this, this one back for now to show the effect. And then this, the tin of nuts is one of those jokey ones because it's got a separate compartment at the bottom <coughs> which has little nuts in it or something like that which rattle like that. It makes me think it's really going to be candy or pops or something. It also occurred to me that balloons, if they're those long balloons, they are widening at the beginning but after uh, uh, the first little blow they just go in one direction only. Here's two examples of it. They're both what they call modelling balloons. This is the 260 E's, which I use a great deal when I was doing children's parties and having to blow up balloons to make dogs and, and birds and other things. You put it over the thing and when you blow it up, it will grow slightly fatter to start with and then it's all length, 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 growing longer and longer and longer and longer, all in the one dimension. Goodness, it's going around the corner, so I'm not very straight. Never mind. Well, it'll go on and on and on, you can imagine. And then, of course, you can release it. It goes away. Have you come across a version like this, which they only sell in specialist shops for balloon artists? It's called a spaghetti balloon. It's exactly the same as the other one, except it's much, much smaller. And so you can make much smaller little dogs and birds and things with it. Let's see if, we go, let's see if I can make this one blow up as well. Yep, there we go. And so on. Oops. So that will also, and then, and then you make models by, by twisting like that, make models. That's also growing in the one way only. So, another one. I must put that in as another mechanism. Here's one which is very bizarre and unique. It's a Japanese folk toy, which I picked up about 20 years ago. It gets longer due to a very extraordinary system of ropes. They're pieces of bamboo possibly, I don't know what they are, but they've got string in that peculiar form. So they're captivated and they grow like this. Each time, each one's able to grow just a certain amount and then it stops growing and reaches the end stop. It stops doing it. So what you do to make it actually operate is you just fling it out this way like this and it gets a very long, whoa, look at that. That has got extraordinarily long and just about straight in one dimension due to the most peculiar form of um, joins. This is Japanese, some genius Japanese guy invented, and they sell them in Tokyo as a, as a folk toy, as a, as a, as a, a bit of something, a bit of, something with a bit of magic to it. Very nice effect that is. The only time I've ever come across that type of one thing. Then there's these popoids, as I call them, which are these corrugated tubes. This is an American one. This is a very large one. And then you whirl it in the air to make a sound like one of those. But they also made, about the same time, other versions of these, very small ones. Tommy did this, which is the same thing, but it's just very small. And then they joined them together so you could put two or three together and make little robots. And this one was an even smaller one. So each of these starts small like that and grows in that one direction longer and longer and longer. And this is, I think, my favourite version because there's so much you can do with this as well as making a, a pipe with that static wave in it. It's delightful. And it will actually join together like this. You can make it, you can join the two together and then you've got a ring like that. So, a lot of fun. But anyway, it's a one-dimensional grower, as I call it. Now, there's a set over here. I'm just going to reach for it. It's a very strange idea, this. I hadn't thought of it originally as a, a one-dimensional grower, but it is really. These I got way back in the beginning of my toy collecting days, 1970s. They're joke ketchup and joke salad creams and all you do is you squeeze it and that well you do it over a person's shirt as if you're actually squirting them with ketchup but it's not it's a bit of string and the string has been pushed out by the air current I see if I can pull it back a bit quicker you know there's a bit of string inside 
you put it in, and when you squeeze it, I'll squeeze it over my shirt and make, give me a, a splash of spaghetti, you know, of, of, um, of ketchup all over me. We are. Well, it's not, but it's, that's the idea. But something that's growing long, and here's another one that grows out. And then there's things closer to the frog, which unfurl, but this one's working with a string. It's a frog, which you could do with an uncurling thing, but it's not. It's a piece of string that pops out. And if I can get it in the right position, I can get it to, to pull, pull back again. Just about, yes, it needs to be pushing back. But anyway, it's got a bulb of, of, of rubber here. When you squeeze it, out comes a tongue in a long squeezy effect like that. So very nice effect that. And the last item is, um, I think, probably my favourite. It's a magic wand, which is absolutely extraordinary. You can get a paper paper and you can fold it this way or that way. And this is what this thing is working on. It's an extraordinary mechanism. We do sell the magic wand actually on the, in the um, website, but I'll show you two giant versions of it. This is the one we're selling, but not this particular design. This is an Israeli invention. You've got a bit of plastic, take the ring off, you release it. It's, you see how short it is. It's only, it's only about uh, an inch and a half long. It suddenly pops up into something like that. Isn't that beautiful? So what's happening is it, this time it's, been, it's unrolling in this long direction, long direction like that. So it's been rolled like that. But when you start making it again in the original form, you've got to open up one end and then roll it up in this direction like this with your fingers. Roll here, roll here like this. It's very tricky to do actually. I'll do it by another method, but you roll like that and it goes, it goes back into a long thing. I'll do it the other way, which is a bit of, bit of fun. This. You just squeeze like this and then in a minute you squeeze it together. So these are very, very popular and have been done for, I think, the last 20 years or so since the Israelis played with the plastic and found this has this wonderful a sort of two states of it. One is intention, in so you've got to put a, a retaining ring around it, otherwise it, it um, misbehaves. So you put a little, a little disc of stuff right there we are like that, and it's it restored. This is a, just another one, a, a white one. Oops, says it. Oh, no, it's not, not going to mind that, actually. Oh, there we are, yes. It's a proper wand. Now, here's two big, those are the ones, that type of one we sell on the website. Here's two very special ones that they make for magic magicians. This is a serious bit of magic, but it's the same principle. It's short like that. When the top of the one is taken off, this taken off, it suddenly opens up into a giant one like that. Isn't that extraordinary? And the best of them, in a lot way, is this one here, which is, again, a magician's trick. It starts like that. I've got to take this cue out, actually. Take the elastic bands off, and this is a serious prop for magicians to do something remarkable with. What they usually do is keep this secret, put it into a bag like that, and then when it opens up, you ready for a big surprise? This is, this is a quite extraordinary one. As it comes out, it's going to start coming out at this end here. Uh, and longer and longer and longer, and I'll take it out of the bag now, I think. But it's going to get longer and longer and longer and longer, and finally that, and it looks like a seven foot pole. It's actually made of plastic, but it sounds like wood, and it makes the most astonishing sight, considering it's only that long to start with, it's opened up to that size. Oh. Like Extraordinary. So that's looking at some things that grow, but in one dimension only, and with 10 completely different principles for producing it. I think there'll be more I should turn up with, but I just love the idea of something starting off with the telescope, the obvious one, and finishing with something like this. Each of them is growing longer and longer in 1D only, and there's so much fun in them, so much fun with these things. Huh.